Hey guys, I'm at the same spot that I came to do my previous video, which was about the 360 panorama, I had to upload it to Facebook. But the weather today is really bad. Typical UK weather, cloudy, moody, windy, but we cannot expect always to have a great weather to fly our drone. So in today's video, if it doesn't rain, I will do a testing regarding the new update of DJI Mini 2 and test if the signal is still okay if any errors comes up the gimbal the quality of the camera the horizon everything and i will try to keep it as short as possible so let me start updating my drone and i will see you in a bit so let's quickly check some of the new things they added on this update and as you can see it's only 50 megabyte but it's a huge update regarding the people that have a dji smart controller it now supports it but i don't have a dji smart controller myself and i don't think i will be purchasing anytime soon since it's really expensive and of course i'm happy with the quality of my phone and most of the phones now the latest version have good quality so you don't need to buy a dji smart controller for those that have it this will be a great update for you moving on it says about the fpv mode improving flying experience i didn't test it previously so i will be doing that also the battery issue many people done a video about it it wasn't a big deal for me but it's good that they updated it and also they improved the flight stability and the compass which again i didn't have any issues regarding that as i done a test one week ago but we will do again the test and see if it got improved. We will find out. So let's begin. After every update, what I like to do is go and do my full calibrations, which I suggest you do the same. And also double check your settings especially the safety settings and see if anything changed. If anything changed, adjust it based on your surroundings. So let's go and test the drone out before it starts raining. And if it starts raining, we need to continue another time. So let's begin. Let's adjust our white balance. That looks fine. And now we will do a test regarding the gimbal and the horizon level if everything is looking good which it does okay let's fly now and check the signal i know we are near houses so the signal most likely should drop but so far everything is looking fine the battery though is going quicker i think everything looks okay the gimbal works fine let's do some zoom and see all good with the 4k what about 2k looks good 1080 everything is looking good the zoom the gimbal everything operates as it should the signal just dropped now but it's understandable because we are near houses and usually i had this issue anyway let me bring the drone home, Go home. oh we got a signal interference which i never had that what about the gimbal? Does it still work while you bring it home? Yep, it still does. Everything is working while you're bringing your drone home. Ah, there was a bit gimbal issue there. And I never experienced that. I'm not sure if it was because of the wind. So we've done some quick tests. Everything looks fine. Let's take some quick photo and see. Now that we check a bit of the signal, the settings, the photo, I want to do a quick shot because it's been a while to see if we are able to do it. So let's do here. Three, 
two, one. Yep, quick shot works a bit overexposed though, but that's not the problem. So let's put it in sport mode and fly a bit. But I can notice my battery is draining quicker than it should. Not because of the sport mode, but it was going quicker also before. So now that we've done a small test, there's a signal interference. Let's put it on FPV mode now. You can get creative with the FPV mode. I remember even if I crashed, I had really good time flying my drone. And I love the FPV mode. It's not like a proper FPV mode, but at least it's something. I'm not a fan of FPV mode or spot mode because of the crash but I don't see any difference from the last time I flew it with FPV mode I never had this error coming up on my drone before about the strong wind Landing. and I believe it's from the update even if we got wind today I never had this error message before final conclusion guys regarding the update i'm 50 50 to be honest but there are reasons for that it's because the weather and the wind and also the area that i'm into didn't allow us to do a test properly so i can't say if it's good or bad the update i can say that the balance and everything is fine but I noticed a few things which I'm about to tell you now regarding in today's testing. So what I noticed was I never had a warning of strong winds, which in other videos I saw other people testing the drone. They had the same issue and also my gimbal wasn't that steady. But as I mentioned, maybe it's because of the weather. So I, I don't want to say that it's because of the update. So I need to do more testing regarding that. One more thing that I noticed, and it wasn't because of the weather, was the battery. It was draining faster than normal, and maybe that's because of the update. And the last thing that I noticed was the signal, which I believe it's nothing to mention, as I'm in an area with a lot of houses, so it's normal for the signal to drop. So guys, this is it for the video. I didn't want to go too much into details because I wanted to keep it as short as possible. And yeah, I done my testing, but still the weather wasn't great to do anything else. Stay tuned as the weather maybe gets better in the next days and I will be posting some cool videos as I promise. Take care, have a nice day and see you on the next one.